Hey everyone, Brian here, back for another Prototech Tip. Today, I'm going to show you how you can quickly decide on what powder coat is right for your project. Powder coat looks beautiful, is super durable, and allows you to really customize the look of your part or enclosure. Protocase can powder coat your custom part or enclosure as part of your two to three day lead time. We've talked about powder coat in plenty of Prototech tip videos in the past, including videos on a powder coat texture, epoxy versus polyester powder coat, and more. So for today, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the different factors that make certain powder coats better suited to specific applications. This video isn't going to be in-depth on each aspect of powder coat. Instead, it will provide you with a high-level overview. If you want to go more in-depth on any of the topics discussed, check the description for links to more specific videos. With that out of the way, let's get started. So, as mentioned here at Protocase, we offer powder coating as a standard finish for your custom parts and enclosures. That means we can powder coat your parts within our standard lead time of two to three days. Powder coating is an awesome finish option for a number of reasons. It's durable, available in a wide variety of stock colors, and provides a great aesthetic for your design. The two most popular types of powder coats are polyester and epoxy, each with their own advantages. Polyester powder coat is more commonly used. If your design is going to be exposed to the elements or you want it to be very durable, we recommend polyester powder coat. Epoxy powder coat, on the other hand, offers superior corrosion and chemical resistance, while not holding up as well to the elements. If your product is going to be indoors and chemical resistance is a priority, we recommend epoxy powder coats. Now, powder coat texture. We offer Santex, matte, and gloss textures across a variety of stock colors at Protocase. Santex powder coat is low gloss, meaning it has very little shine compared to other textures. It is the roughest texture to offer, which provides excellent slip, impact, and fingerprint mark resistance. It is also a great choice for exterior conditions. If you require a tough, ultra-durable powder coat, we recommend you choose Santex. It tends to hide blemishes better than other powder coat textures as well, which can be useful if you are using welding in your design. Opposite to Santex is a gloss finish, which provides a much brighter look that will reflect light significantly more than a Santex powder coat. You can choose between high gloss and low gloss depending on how smooth of a finish you require. Gloss powder coats are not quite as resistant as Santex, but can provide great aesthetics for your indoor applications. In contrast to gloss powder coats, we also offer matte powder coats. As the name suggests, there are almost no shine or reflection with matte powder coats. A matte finish is still very durable and great for resistance to impact or abrasion. The texture of your powder coat also affects whether you should use silkscreen or digital print to apply graphics. For Santex, we recommend digital printing, as it will lay the ink better onto the textured surface. For matte or gloss powder coats, you can opt for silkscreening or digital print, as they both work excellent for smooth textures. Whatever color powder coat you pick, it is best practice to pick a color which will contrast for your graphics in order to ensure legibility. We have a prototech tip specifically about contrasting graphics, so check out that link below in the description. So far I've been talking about stock powder coats, but what if you need a powder coat Protocase does not stock? While we recommend staying within our stocked offerings in order to get the fastest lead time and most economical price, we are happy to quote non-stock powder coats as well. Just be aware that there will be an additional lead time as well as an additional fee. Now one final tip before I wrap up, and it's an important one. Powder coat adds up to three thou of thickness to the surface it's applied to. So you have to take that additional thickness into account when creating your design to ensure proper fit of your components. For example, if you're mounting a component that needs a hole that's half an inch and you are opting for powder coat, you should actually size your hole for 506 thou in order to account for the additional 3 thou thickness of powder coat on your cutout per side. It's a simple thing to keep in mind, but one that can be easily missed, especially if you have a tight tolerance for mounting your components. Any questions about this or other aspects of the design, our team is here to help. Contact us at info at protocase.com. Don't forget, we've got some important links below in the description for some additional reading and watching to learn more about powder coat. That's all for this week's Prototech Tip. See you next Tuesday for another one.